Ambulance, is the patient breathing? With every red light, another emergency call. The ambulance control room in Nottingham often deals with more than two and a half thousand a day. More than ever before. Okay, and what's the full address of the emergency, please? We're receiving like double the amount of calls that we would normally receive on like a Friday night or a Saturday night or New Year's Eve, um, almost on a daily basis. When you can see that there are like 10, 15 calls waiting to be answered, um, or like a 10 minute wait for a call to be answered, you do start sort of thinking that that is quite scary and what if it's somebody that I know in that queue. Before the pandemic, the centre took around 90,000 calls in one month. That increased by more than 20,000 calls in the same month this year. Do they have difficulty speaking between breaths? As the waiting times and number of calls tick up, more resource has been brought in. Doctors and GPs are working outside their normal practice hours, doing shifts in the control room. What they do is they provide senior level clinical support to our two patients. So they may call patients back and speak to patients and get further information. They have the access of um, many of the patients' GP notes. We can access them. We can see what's happened to them in the past. We can, uh, we can recommend alterations to medications, withholding of medications, so that they needn't necessarily go to hospital. And we can also safety net them and say, actually, you don't need to go today, but if this changes, please, please call us back. Those feeling the pressure on the front line say the extra help from doctors back at base gives patients a better experience. Since the doctors have been in control, it gives us a, a senior medical decision maker that, that complements our face-to-face -face assessments. So having that GP on call, because we are going out to the urgent care presentations, having their expertise of years and years of de dealing with that they can link in with teams they can advise us as to what that best pathway for that patient is and as a result we're leaving more people at home safely but with a rise in calls comes slower response times and some difficult decisions for staff lewis warner itv news nottingham